Soho Place is centred right in the centre of London. Uh, it's situated directly above Tottenham Court Road Station. It's split into two sites, Site A and Site B. Site A is a 10-storey commercial and retail property, so ground floor retail for Charing Cross Road and Oxford Street, and prime office space above that. And then Site B is a, again, commercial property, but internally there is a, a brand new state-of-the-art 600-seater auditorium, which is complex in its uh, construction because it's completely isolated from everything around it. My name is Katie Ball, um, I'm part of the design management function and I'm an associate design coordinator. Originally I studied architecture at university and I applied to Langerville through the graduate programme. I was really interested in being part of the construction aspects but didn't want to lose the fact that I was still involved with buildings and involved in design and so design management for me kind of combined both of those aspects into one. My name is Gianni Pagnotta. Um, my role in the project is assess, Assistant Section Manager uh, for Langer Rook. In central London, very busy area, lots going on around us. So in terms of getting things like big bits of steel into the project isn't easy. Uh, for the crane that we've just installed, it was a very early start to get uh, the mobile crane in and also the mast sections for that. Paul Inchon, Project Director. Uh, this is a project for Derwent London and the first new theatre to be built in the West End for 50 years. If you look on the site behind me, there's a tower crane there that to all intents and purposes sits on a very simple crane base. What's below that crane base are four plunge columns, 20 metres long, plunged into a pile and cast within about five millimetres tolerance. And piles that are within a few metres of active tube lines. We've got Oxford Street to our northern boundary which is constantly busy with pedestrians and tourists and then Charing Cross Road is a constant um, access point for vehicles. This whole area is, is going through huge regeneration now and being part of that is, is fundamentally important to me. It's one of the reasons why I enjoy working for Lango Rock. It's a unique opportunity. I think um, it's definitely different and it's not going to present itself again. One of the, the things that I'm currently involved with heavily is the digital build, so expanded digital build where we're basically doing the simplistic part of building everything in the 3D sense prior to going on site and then making sure it's, it's fully implemented and targeted to assist our site team. It's just ensuring that we're providing solutions that um, minimise the impact of pedestrians. So we've got some clever walkways, some clever gantry systems where we're basically providing uh, open-ended cabins. And so we drop it in in a night and then suddenly the pedestrians are walking through them ensuring we're monitoring sound so we're not upsetting our neighbours. And then going forward, it's getting engaged with local charities and actually bringing, giving a little bit back more than just the project. And the thing that gives me the biggest kick is this combination of the technical challenge, but also building a team and bringing through a, a diverse team of increasingly diverse in this industry to deliver what's going to be an exceptional project. It's a real privilege to have this talent pool and it's giving them the chance to excel and, and be proud of what they do. I'm really looking forward to seeing the theatre. Obviously that is the key element for this project and I think it will be amazing to see how it develops and then in the future hopefully be able to use it so, and be able to say I was part of it.